we are looking at 15.4 we're looking at the go math daily task assessment and homework review so let's go ahead and get started and we're looking at congruent shapes so let's do a quick check on number eight so let's look at the kaleidoscope there's a kaleidoscope right here to find the figure outlined in red so the figure outlined in red is this one right here which figure below appears to be congruent to it so we're looking at same size and same shape and there's only one answer which is answer the letter L shape this one right here B the next step Israel's making a pattern with quadrilaterals for a wallpaper border which figures appear to be congruent so we're looking at figures same size and same shape let's go ahead and look for same shape and we only have two that are the same shape and this one's lying down this one's vertical but they are congruent same size same shape so it has to be the two rectangles there are no other two that are congruent to one another which pattern blocks can you use can, which pattern blocks can you combine to make a shape that is congruent to the shape below so again you have to visualize if you have the pattern blocks but you could see it right here if you can see it right here okay which pattern blocks can you use to combine to make a shape that is congruent to the shape so you would have to use a square and then two triangles and notice a trapezoid will not work because a trapezoid goes down here and then so trapezoid doesn't work that's either two rhombuses and if you have the shapes you'd be able to put them on top of each other but visualize it like this that's the way visualize it like this okay let's look at your next questions So we're looking to identify congruent figures. It says, tell if it appears to be congruent to the second figure, okay? Similar to the questions that we had earlier in the review. So, same size, yes. Same shape, yes, they are congruent. Same shape, no. If it doesn't meet one of the, both criteria, they cannot be congruent. Let's take a look at this one here. Oops, sorry. Okay, it says list all the ways you can use congruent pattern blocks to make the figures, the figure here. So again, you would have to have the pattern blocks with you, but if you visualize it carefully, you can have two trapezoids and one rhombus, or two trapezoids and two triangles, or six triangles and one rhombus, or eight triangles. And if you start visualizing the, visualizing the triangles, you can start here. Go here, here, here's another one. Uh, if you want to see the rhombus, there's a rhombus right here. Here's a triangle here, and then that'll give you this trapezoid over here. So again, uh, having the not having the pattern blocks handy could create an issue, but if you just visualize them, okay? And again, you see the rhombus here. You see, you see the triangles here, triangle there. And then you got your hexagon there, and then divide it in half. See that? Two trapezoids here. Okay, that's how you would do it. And that's visualize it like that. Start making your shapes, and you'll be able to see it. So here are your two trapezoids and two triangles. Okay, or they could all be triangles. See, they could all be triangles. There, there. Or that now I have one, two, three, four triangles and two rhombuses. Okay, so there are plenty of possibilities there. Okay, you can also create the triangles here, triangles here. Okay, so again, if you get your pencil and start making your shapes, you'll be able to answer that. When the answers are going to vary, but these are your possible solutions right here. The next one lists the pairs of figures that appear to be congruent. Pairs of figures that appear to be congruent. So we're looking at same size and same shape. Look at C and E. 
Well, C and E kind of look like the same shape, but they are not the same size. E is larger than C. Let's look at the next one. Well, A and F, same shape, but not same size. B and D. B and D, same shape, same size. C and G, same shape, same size. And remember, position does not is not an indicator of whether the two shapes are congruent. Okay. Ursula drew the congruent figures below. Which two pattern blocks can she combine to make a rhombus? A rhombus. And if you remember before, if you put these two right here, and again, I would draw them. Put these two right here, and, and there's your rhombus right there. And if you remember from the review that we did when we worked on the guided practice, we did this. We divided a rhombus in half with a line of symmetry. And none of these two would these two would make a rhombus. This would not. This definitely won't make a rhombus. Then again, you have to know what a rhombus is. The next one, Albert wants to make a parallelogram. Which figures can he add to the ends of a square to make the shape? Which figures can he add to the end of the square? You have to visualize it, okay? And what is a parallelogram? Well, all, line, all lines are parallel. So if you put these shapes and combine them, you can put them right here and you can make your, par your parallelogram. And these would not give you parallelograms, okay? Or this right here. The next one. Lino made some cutout shapes. Which figures do not appear to be congruent? Do not. That's the key. Do not appear to be congruent. Again, it's the hearts here. They're not the same size. Here you have this shape here that Manny drew. Which is the least number of pattern blocks he can use to make a congruent figure? And then again, you have to visualize it. The least, so you go with your largest right here, right here. So how many? Oops. So you're looking at the least number of pattern blocks. Remember, your blocks are not, you don't have a rectangle. So you have one, two, three, four. It wouldn't be three because you don't. We don't have a pattern block that's a triangle, uh, a big rectangle. Okay, he can use to make a congruent figure. Okay, which is what is the least number of pattern blocks he can use to make a congruent figure? Okay. So remember, you're trying to make a congruent figure, and he would need four. So you have to visualize your pattern blocks, and help you visualize what. Manny's trying to do. Well, very good. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure to ask questions. Good luck on your online quiz. You've been doing an amazing job with this. Uh, please keep working hard. You're doing very, very good. You're doing very, very well. You're doing a very good job, so keep it up. Well, thank you for your time and patience. And uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns, Please do not hesitate to contact me.